Okay, here's the circuit that I'm going to use for the proof of concept. Let me explain a little about where this is going. I always get the question like, well, okay, what's this for? What are you going to do with it? Well, what this circuit does is it gives you one exciter. And that one exciter using the earth will take and drive up to five different light outputs or receivers. And the purpose for that is, let's take an example of camping. You've got, you've got four tents and you've got another area you want to provide light for. And you want to pack a ton of batteries with you, but yet you want some light. Well, if you pack one battery and just the receivers, you'll get what, what you're looking for. Now, there's a lot of more information you need on how that works because it pretty much has to be a, a wheel radial type situation. It can't be where one's stacked in line with the other one and, and think you're going to get five units. Uh, that, the reason for that is it's got to do with the earth and the conductivity and the impedance and the amplification that's actually present from the earth. So let me show you what what you would have is a solar panel that would be used to charge the battery. That would take and ensure that every night when you require the light you would have a fully charged battery. Now to connect this up what we have is a sec exciter and it goes over here up here to the good old proverbial pie plate, which is the other leg, the capacitive coupling. Now I know I'm going to, that I've upset a couple of people because I was kind of secretive on this in the beginning on exactly how you would connect this. But anyway, those are nine inch pie plates, one on the front and one on the back. Hook to the output of uh, L3. And then this wire right here with the big clip on it goes to your ground. So it would go to the ground rod or, or mast or whatever you had that was buried into the ground to allow it to work. All these are multiple connections to uh, get it all put together and wired. Now like I said before, there's one major difference. And the difference is in the exciter itself, there's a couple of minor changes that I made that make it so much simpler and operable, and I'll get into those later, but what I wanted to do was, earlier I showed you a video where the receiver is sitting outside and has been for a couple of weeks, and I had hoped before I took and uh, showed this that I could have got some decent weather to where I could have had it all set up and and kind of turned it into a surprise rather than what it started out to be. So anyway, here's what it is. And as soon as the weather's conducive, I'm going going to take it outside, hook it up, show you what it does with at least one receiver. And uh, I can show you multiple receivers, but I don't have them built up. Uh, what I do have is the one receiver is about 36 feet from where this will be, and it should put out some pretty good light, uh, uh, enough light that I would say that you're going to be impressed. So anyway, for those couple of people that tried to replicate this long before I showed how it was going to be done, I, I apologize, but uh, you can't replicate something I haven't already done, right? So anyway, <clears throat> here's the proof of concept, here's what it is, solar cell to charge your battery during the day, an ordinary old sec exciter with a couple of minor changes, and that's happening around the actual tuning capacitor area, and I will cover that eventually. But the L3 coil, the ground wire, the battery, and your wife's 9-inch uh, pipe plates. Now, kind of stay with the 9-inch. Uh, you can go larger, but what you're going to have happen 
is that you won't be able to tune the exciter because of the proximity to the plates. And you can't take and extend this wire from L3 out too far because what's going to happen is the tuning is going to be off. You won't be able to bring it into resonance. And so it's not going to work near as well. So anyway, I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, enjoy and thanks for watching.